We begin in the Middle East, where Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi has been killed in a crash after his helicopter went missing on the 19th of May. The incident happened when the 63-year-old Raisi was returning from inaugurating a dam project along with Abizajan's president. Raisi was visiting his country's northwest region, which borders Azerbaijan. The helicopter carrying Iran's president, his foreign minister, and seven others disappeared over a mountainous region in the East Azerbaijan province. Search operations lasted nearly 16 hours after neighboring nations offered drones and manpower to locate the lost helicopter. The wreckage was found this morning and all nine people on board were declared dead in the crash. Authorities have attributed the crash to a lack of visibility due to thick fog and rain. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has declared five days of mourning and has assured Iranians that there will be no disruption to the country's work. Under the Iranian constitution, the first vice president will temporarily replace Raisi until snap elections are held within 50 days. And as news of President Raisi's death spread, many Iranians expressed their sorrow. It was really unfortunate news, not only for me, but for many people in this country. After all, he is the elected president of the nation. The deceased was very active. They tried to follow up on things every day, and this saddened us more. When this happened yesterday and now this morning when the news was confirmed, we really felt as if we had lost an important support and weight. And now condolences have also poured in from across the world. India, Russia, China, and nations from Africa and the Middle East have all expressed their grief over Raisi's death. So far, the United States and Israel have not commented on the Iranian president's demise. Now in Iranian social media, conspiracy theories floated that the helicopter crashed as an act of sabotage. But a majority of Iranians dismissed the unfounded rumors. I don't think that at this point in time, the foreign threat can create a problem for us. And again, as soon as the Israeli authorities heard the news of the helicopter crash yesterday, they announced that they had no role and quickly announced their position, and now several European countries also expressed their condolences, or expressed concern. I don't think that foreign threats threaten us. Now while President Raisi's death comes as a shock to many, the ultra-conservative leader was seen as a deeply polarizing figure. In fact, throughout his presidency, Iran saw a wave of protests over the repression of women's rights and police brutality against women for flouting Islamic dress codes. Raisi was also nicknamed the Butcher of Tehran for ordering mass executions of political opponents in Iran's capital city back in 1988. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.